Hey, what's going on? This is Hayden with The Designer Who Codes. And in a previous video, I talked about using React and Netlify Forms. When I fill my form out, and I say Adams and Netlify Forms, what I get as a result, if I can type my email address in correctly, then I can say, nah, no comments, I'm good. So when I actually fill this out and submit my results, what I get a result is this templated design Thank you, your form submission has been received. I received a comment not almost like a day or two after I submitted the video, whereby the comment said, what about I don't want to go to Netlify's website after submission? Can you please show that? And I said, you know what? I think I can. So in this video, we're gonna create a submission or like a contact thank you page that we can attach to our Netlify form in React. And with that, Let's get started. All right, so just a heads up, I did create this form in a previous video and I will link to it in the description below. But what I have here in this form is a basic React Netlify form. I've got the form, the contact name, the method is post, data Netlify true, on submit, and I also put in a honeypot for a bot field. And it looks like this. We saw from the previous intro that I don't have a thank you page. So what I wanna do is, well, create a thank you page. And I can do that by saying action equals, and then using, cause I'm using Gatsby, I'm gonna put slash success slash. Now what I have to do is I have to create a brand new page that corresponds to the success page. So I'm gonna copy this information. I'm gonna say command N Command S, and in this folder I have, I'm gonna say success.js. I'm gonna paste all this information in, but what I'm gonna do is, in between where the form is, I'm gonna say p tag, thank you for your submission. I'm gonna save it. Now, I can't test this on my local host 8000 because it's not gonna run through Netlify forms. So I have already got this set up through both GitHub and Netlify. So I'm gonna head over to my terminal where I'm running Gatsby at this time. I'm gonna stop the build. Oh, NPM Gatsby, do that in a second. I'm gonna say git add star. I'll pull this up so you can see a little better on the screen. Git add star, git commit, added a success page, git push origin main. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna upload into GitHub and, and if I have the screen somewhere pulled up, somewhere going on, here it is, different screen, we're good to go. What this will do is now deploy and build and add it a success page. And while we're running, what you can also do is if you had a contact page, you can also build a component for your form. So if you want to take the form in and out even easier than deleting it, you could build it in React using a component saying import form, and then in a contact success page, you then could then say, okay, take it out, and then replace with thank you for your submission. And we should almost, cool, add a success page. So let's give this a try and see if it works. The form should look the same, Aiden Adams, and type in my email address. Nah, still nothing. But now when I hit submit the results, perfect. Thank you for your submission. It works fine. And let's just double check, making sure that I do get the email still. If I pull up my email and I pull up the response, I still get everything intact. Hayden Adams, email address, comment, still nothing and the submission page works fine. If you wanna copy the source code that I have written here, find the link below to download it via the description below. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day.